Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day today. So I want to go over something with you when you go to work on a vehicle, especially when you don't know exactly what you're looking for or going after. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this car. This is that Volvo with the high-pitched noise it was making coming from the motor. And once I pulled the timing cover back, uh, which is underneath this, this shield right here. Just zoom out a little bit. Once I pulled the shield off, I took the timing cover and I moved it out and you can hear the noises emanating from underneath that so what i want to get at is uh knowing your 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 situation knowing what you're working on so i started to take it apart and i basically started to take the uh, upper mount off and take the cover off and i said whoa, whoa, whoa hold on a second what am i doing it's like let me look for bulletins so sure enough i found a bulletin and there's a bulletin with audio files so i was able to open up the audio files and they basically have recordings of different noises that these things are making. And um, sure enough, I heard the exact same noise that this thing's making. And it tells you that the balance shaft is no good, and you have to replace the balance shaft. I'm looking over because a bird just flew into the window of a car. Anyway, um, so yeah, it tells you you got to replace the balance shaft in order to straighten out the problem. Well, guess what I'm not doing? I am not doing that job. So I was basically taking it apart to investigate what was wrong. So... That job in itself pays 16 hours straight, just a straight up 16 hours. So 16 hours, I'm going to have to assume it's probably going to wind up being more like 18, 19 hours. I am not getting involved, especially on a Volvo. Um, you know, if I was to take it apart and, you know, find it was a cam seal or, or an idler bearing or something like that going bad or a tensioner going bad, okay, no problem. I'll, I'll fix that. It's not a big deal. But a balance shaft on this? To, in order to change the balance shift, you got to pull the motor out and disassemble it a whole nine yards. Not getting involved. So, basically, when you're dealing with something that you don't know what's going on, you're kind of doing an investigation, trying to figure it out, look at bulletins. Bulletins are an easy way to, you know, sometimes find what you're looking for. And it'll save you a lot of aggravation, like this one did. I, I was really into the motor for, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe, when, you know, the light went off, bing, I top my head and said, whoa, 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 wait a minute, slow down. Uh, let's figure out what's going on here first. Let's see if there's any bulletins. And sure enough, I did that. I even did a Google search, and it kept coming up, same thing. And I do I do Google searches every once in a while just to see. And um, so that's where I'm at with this. So now this vehicle gets to go back to the dealer. Uh, customer's not very happy, but, you know, I'm just... It's not something I'm going to get involved with. You know, it'd be a different story if it was something a little more common. You know, the Volvo's not a super common vehicle in my world. Uh, maybe in some of your worlds it is. But... Hey, I'm Swedish. I don't even want to work on a Volvo. Yeah, go figure. Anyway, so that's about it. If you get anything out of my videos, hit the like button. If you could, please subscribe. It'll help me make more videos. Uh, I guess that's about it for today. You guys have a great day and keep wrenching.